Yeah, so I just saw you at uh, Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. Which, which maze or what got you the most? Um, it actually wasn't a maze. It was like a little scare zone. Yeah. And they were like all in woodsy colors, and it scared me so much. <laughs> Plus, if anyone crawls at me, I'm scared of you. But that was that was the one. That was but you had, you had a, a lot of adrenaline last night. Obviously, you had a lot of adrenaline today. I think I was shocked that, you know, you got third. Not that third is bad, but I think a lot of times when we were talking to the judges and everybody uh, online was always thinking it was going to be between you and Bailey. How do you feel about how you placed and how this went this whole season? I wouldn't change anything. Um, this experience taught me more about myself than I ever thought it would. And no matter what the placement that America gave me, I placed myself in a winning stance because I grew so much. I know it's going to be impossible, but if you had to remember one moment, let's say for the rest of your life, you had one moment from the show that was crystal clear, you could always like tap back into it. What was the highlight for you? Um, definitely my audition. I've always had an energy that told me that you need to audition for this show. I watched the show since a young age, and the fact that I actually went out and did it, I'm kind of proud of myself. Now you're about to go on tour. You'll have a little breather, but you're about to go on tour. Anything you got to bring with you? Like, what's your bag going to have with you? Shoes. For tour? Shoes? Just a lot of shoes? Yep, just all shoes. What's the one shoe, like, you know, if you were a millionaire, what's that one shoe that you're like, I want it? Oh, I don't even need to be a millionaire. <laughs> I'm trying to get some Jordan 11 Velvets. So if you're watching this and you want to get me Jordan 11 Velvets, I'm a size nine and a half. But those are my shoes. I want them so bad. You'd be your best friend forever. Any uh, tour stop you're looking forward to specifically? Um, I'm definitely looking forward to Canada, but I'm also looking forward to coming home to Florida. So yeah. they're both be great. And then after the show's done, what are you planning to, to do? What is kind of like the focus of your career? I have no idea where my career is going to go, but um, I learned that it's not for me to worry about. Opportunities that are meant for you will come to you, and I'm just going to trust in that. Yeah. Now, how um, how have your DMs been with all the ladies? I mean, now that you're on TV and stuff, that's all the comments we get is like, is he single? How is he? How's that been? I mean, <laughs> you're finding out about it more than I am, so I guess I got to reread, but it, they, everyone's been so kind and so loving of what I've brought to the table. So, Lastly, if you could work with one choreographer or dance with one uh, artist, is there something specific you want to do in the dance world? Um, I definitely love to work with Travis. Um, he's such an amazing choreographer. And um, yeah, there's so many opportunities out there. I'd love to do them all. All right, well, what are you going to do tonight? How are you going to celebrate? I am going to eat a lot of food. <laughs> I'm going to rest because I'm exhausted. And I might wake up to eat again. Okay. Every, every food, what's the one meal you're like, I need this right Ooh, now? Oh, you can't, you can't <laughs> limit me to one meal. I love food. Oh, God. Just food in general. Food, food and shoes. Food Absolutely. and shoes. That's how you get to his heart. All right, you guys, make sure to see him on tour uh, the rest of the summer, and then um, we'll see what's next for you. Awesome. Sounds good. All right, take care. Make sure you support. And go on the tour, Canada. For sure. Bam. <laughs> <laughs>